hi guys now we will see how to keep our critical and important data in gmail as you know data is very important and critical to us if we lose our data or any data has been corrupted that is very uh, difficult to recover the original data so that's why gmail provides 15 gb free page we can keep our important and critical data in gmail Today's agenda, my task, I will create a new folder in Gmail, move file in Gmail, move folder in Gmail, your task, please subscribe my channel, like, comment and share. For your information, Gmail provides 15 GB free base. If your critical data more than 15 GB, create more Gmail ID. Now we'll see one by one. First, we'll create folder in Gmail. So log into Gmail. Then go to settings. This icon is called settings. Click on there. You will see one more settings. Click on settings. Then click on levels. Come down. Create a new level. So click on new level. Give your data. As per your data type, you can create multiple folders and keep the data there. Here I will create, uh, create only one folder for demonstration. You can do practice at home. So I will give the name TT. Now give a meaningful name. Photo. So I will keep my important photo here. So click on create. Now we can see the folder has been created. But there is no data. Now we will move our data here. Now we will do this one first, file, so click on compose, give your own email id, subject photo, then click on attachment, go to your file location, Now this is one file, uh, one pix as a one file. So I will move one. So this one, open. So now the file has been attached. So we can type something as per subject. This is this is my pix. Okay. Click on send. Now we can see the file is in inbox. So we can keep here also. But inbox, all the time you are getting all the email from different people or different companies here also. So here will be multiple emails, multiple files, multiple folders. So that mm, this will be very difficult to identify which one is uh, important and which one not. So that's why we will move this to our folder photo here so click on here then click on move to then click on photo so if you have multiple folders if you don't see here the folder then click here and type the folder name so you will get that one so now it's been the move go to photo we can see the file came here now the next task move folder in gmail so guys we cannot attach attach folder directly into any email or any gmail yahoo or any official like outlook so first create a zip file of that folder then send it so we'll go to that location so 
if we want to send multiple files multiple photo then create one folder give name photo then the files you want to keep there copy there like i want to keep this one then press control this one so suppose to we can select multiple chat press control and uh, select one by one how many you want so i want just two so i'll remove this keep uh, press control and click then copy and paste here go to that location sorry guys then right click on that folder and this is a file this will help us to zip the folder add to photo zip See where is that folder? Zip folder. Somewhere here. Share share. So now we'll go to Gmail and we'll send that folder to gmail campus again same way give the email id subject photo then address if you don't see you can click here the name see then click on open now the folder has been attached click on send now it will come in the inbox it came same way move to that location photo one so see we can see our one file one folder so guys one folder and one file sorry so guys this way we can keep our data safe in gmail so please do this thanks guys see you in the next video